Hi, welcome to my channel and in this video I will show you how to create this kind of dashboard from start to finish without using any background images and if you're new here please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always updated let's go okay so the first thing that we need to do is to import our Excel data to our Power BI so to do that let's go to get data click Excel and in our navigator we'll be selecting countries and then select transform data okay now the reason why we want to select transform data before we load it is that I want to explain first the content of our main data source so we have country population land area and density so what we want to happen on this report or in this dashboard is for us to have a simple analysis on the world population as of 2021 so with that let's close and apply now we have our data the next step is for us to change the layout of our main dashboard by going to view page view select actual size and then in visualization pane let's do some formatting so for page size uh, let's select custom and then for the week uh, we'll have 1 to 80 and for the height we'll have 900 pixels now on the page background we will have zero transparency so that we can see this shadow at the back of our layout and then let's hide the visualizations for the meantime and then let's change the page name to world population dashboard now we are ready to add our visualizations or our graphs to our canvas or to our dashboard. So the first thing is we want to add the main title of this report. So in the left side, let's have a dashboard panel. Right. Let's make it bold. And then on the right side, we'll have simple title say uh, world population 2020 right? then let's make it bold and select a different font style so we bold and then let's make it a little bit bigger somewhere 24 yep. same in our dashboard panel then change the font style something like this yeah and then and then we'll be creating a rectangular shape here just to separate our header to all of the visualization that we'll be creating so still in insert select shape rectangle and uh, make it a little bit uh, bigger from left to right and then let's go to format shape let's remove the fill color and also the line let's make a uh, zero weight so that we can remove that line uh, at the uh, left side right side and top and bottom of our rectangular shape and then in the background we'll select uh, for a uh, gray color and then later on we'll change the color of this rectangular shape now in format let's select send backward send to back so that we'd be able to see our header title here so for dashboard panel and for our world population 2020 title we will remove the background okay and uh, let's try to resize our header here uh, yep. and then let's copy and paste the sh rectangular shape then let's try to change the color of it to say this color yeah so what we want to do here is we want to have a another colorway of our rectangular shape as a header now the next step is uh, we'll copy again our rectangular shape let's try to have this kind of color and then we'll resize it 
and then let's put it here and then let's have our instruction here so uh, for source for the source the data in this dashboard is from rollmonitor.com we see description box for the link right and then we'll make it bold let's select three bold a different font style or any font style that we want right Let's make it 11 and then put it here and let's remove the background of the text box okay now we have our headers we can now start adding visualizations so just to start let's select visualization select donut short okay and then on fields so in our donut chart, we'll select population under values, country under legend, and then we will get the top 5 or 10 of the country which has the highest population. So to do that, go to filters and country, basic filtering, then top end. And let's select top 5, and then for value, we will drag and drop population here, then apply field. Then we will change our data labels. So let's go in the formatting, data labels. Let's select category and data value. So you will see here the top five countries which has the highest population. And then we'll just copy and paste everything. Okay. And then. We will change it one by one okay now let's go to the next chart so select density for values or other yeah let's select uh, land area first and then density okay the next visualization is a simple table that contains all of the information of population, land area, and density. So to do that, you select uh, the table visualization, and then let's put country on the values, population, land area, and density. And then let's just resize it. Okay. And then let's put a title here. So let's add another text box. Say this is the summary of all countries. Let's make it bold. Then different font type. Select uh, 11 maybe. Yeah, and then we will fit this text box to the upper part of our table. And finally, for the last visualization, we will add a map in the middle portion of our dashboard. And the data will be under legend, we'll select country. And then for size, we'll have population. So you can see here which countries have the highest population. And for our donut chart, we'll be adding the title so let's just try to fix the size so that our text box will fit in between those donut chart so I'll copy this and put it here okay and so we'll just repeat the process by copy and pasting the text box drag it here and then say country land area Okay, and then country by density and to make it direct to the point let's 
put top five countries by density okay then put it in the middle uh, let's have here top five countries by land area and then population uh, let's put top five countries by population then put it in the middle and since we still have titles on our donut chart what we will do is we will remove those so let's go to format painter and tick title same with the other donut chart let's remove the title as well for our map so before we finalize our dashboard let's create a background for this visualization by creating a rectangle at the back of this charts and tables so let's have this at the back of our table and maybe also at the back of our map then format send it to back okay and then let's add one more for the donut charts that we have here we just resized everything okay and then put it back and then let's resize our shape okay so again there are so many ways to do the resizing but it's up to you which process is easier for you okay now we can add filter to our report so let's select filter and for fields let's select country and then select this icon select drop down and then we will remove the slicer header and then and then remove the back on the well. So let's go to items, let's put uh, white as our background, let's just try to arrange it. And aside from filter, we will add our icon as well. So to do that, let's go to insert an image, and then we will resize our icon, we will put that in our header. okay now we are ready to finalize our dashboard so what i will do here is i will change the color of all the rectangular shapes that we have here and then we will rearrange and also format the rest of our visualization so for the header we will change the background color so let's select the header and the background and then custom color then change it to this hex code and then select the title let's change the color of the font same as here let's put it uh, in this color for now and for this rectangular shape let's change it to this color right and then for the background let's change it to black right and then for this shape, background would be a little bit green. This would have this color. Okay, and then let's just try to resize it. And for the table, let's change the style. So let's go to the format, let's uh, select style, then select none, and then for the column headers, let's select this as a background color, and then font would be black, and then 
and then for the values the font color will be white alternate font color will also be white and then text size is 8 that's right and then let's change the background to this color with this hex code all right great and then select our title here change the color with this one and then for the map we will remove the background so let's go to the format again and then map styles will be aerial and then background would be blank great so for our donut charts let's fix the size of the titles here to this color let's put it white uh, let's have black again and maybe let's change the background color to this color great and then these two This one too. Okay, great. And then let's fit this to our panel. Same way the donut chart itself. Let's fit it here. And finally, the color of our donut chart. So to do that, let's select the donut chart. Let's go to the formatting, then data colors. So uh, just to make it really simple, let's follow this color. Right, red. And let's have this. Right. And then this color. And then let's move up here and then yellow. And we will just do it to the other donut chart as well. And then we will turn off the legend for all of our donut chart and last is we will change the data label colors to white so that it is readable but of course if you want we can add more information at the center of our donut chart so say for example let's add a card here Alright, so that is the end of this video. So if you like this report or this dashboard, you can refer to the description box for the link for a direct download. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye. Okay.